Hey everyone, welcome back to Chart Prime. RB Piper here. Today, I'm going to bring you some tips and tricks to clean up your charts. Let's get Prime. All right, so typically when you guys add your indicators to your charts, and especially if you're new to TradingView, your charts probably look like a total mess, and it's probably enough to make you want to pull your hair out. But with a few simple tips and tricks, you can get your charts to go from looking like this to like this. Let's dive in and see how this is done. Firstly, when you're looking at your charts here and you drop all of your indicators on, you've got a lot of data over here. You can see all of this data coming all the way across the indicators on your screens. Down here on the bottom even, you've got all these blocks over here. Things are just really, really messy. These are some things that you're gonna wanna do with trading view settings to fix some of this. First off, find a blank area anywhere on your chart, right click on it, go down to settings. When you're in settings, if you go to the status line here, the first thing you want to do see these arguments and values click those off you'll now see that all of this data and metadata coming off your indicators completely gone second thing you want to do click on scales right here it says indicators and financials value click that bam now all you're going to show is the current price of the asset you're on now let's go ahead and talk about the look of this chart if you go into appearance here you can click on this you see where it says gradient let's make this solid these are some of my personal preferences you can make them whatever colors you want this is what i like to do i think it looks pretty clean click on the color bar here Go with the solid black. Now you've got that there. Only thing you have left is those grid lines. See the grid lines here? Click none, bam, it's gone. Now your charts look pretty darn clean. From here, you're gonna wanna jump in and make a few other changes to your indicator settings. Let's go ahead and start off with the Market Oracle. Click it on the cog wheel here, you'll bring up your Market Oracle settings. The first thing I'm gonna do, you see how all of these overlapping possible reversals up and down are all laid on top of each other? Something that helps a lot with that, just click abbreviate signals. That is going to make all of these now PRU instead of possible reversal up. That's step one, go all the way down, turn off this dashboard. I find that it just creates a lot of noise, especially when going from the computer to my phone when I'm looking at the mobile trading view. Another thing I like to do, go into your smart money concepts bundle, click this on. You can go ahead and turn off everything except for your enable predictive ranges or use your multi time frame. I prefer predictive ranges for my trading style. If you want to use these, use one or the other, but not both. You're going to get a lot of noise. Remember, you can always go in, turn off your predictive ranges and then turn on these to get your settings. Right now I'm on a 15 minute chart so I can look at chart and then I can also look at the one hour and then I can use these. But Again, I personally prefer to use predictive ranges. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on predictive ranges here. You can turn on what you prefer. Your style is your settings and your settings is what you're going to have set for your strategy. So let's go ahead and drop those down. Another thing I like to do is I also like to turn off the premium discount zones and the break of structure and change of character. I can always go in, turn them on for a second to see where we are, and then go back in and turn them off. It's really simple. Again, just click this little cog right here to bring these up. The next thing you're going to want to do is go into your chart patterns. You get a lot of confusion sometimes with red lines crossing red lines, green lines crossing green lines. I like to go in here, set these to white, and that really makes them pop and stand out on my chart. Now you can really see your trend lines even with it zoomed in like this. And now lastly, what you want to do, grab your chart, move it around a little bit, expand out by grabbing the scale on the right-hand side. You can make it taller and shorter. And by scrolling on your mouse, you can extend left and right. That is going to give you candles that are more in line with actual candles and not so much crunched together. Now you can see this chart looks a whole lot like this chart. This is a one hour. This is a 15 minutes. Those are some quick, simple tips that can get your charts from looking like a total disaster to something that you are primed and ready to trade on. Let's jump out of here, wrap this up. So I hope you guys found this stuff helpful. This is what I do to clean up my charts. I get asked all the time about it. I hope you found some use in it. If you guys don't have Chart Prime yet and you want to get these indicators to put on your charts and just crush your gains, go ahead and check the description below. Get 45% off your monthly or quarterly subscription today. Thanks for joining me for this episode. I'll catch you guys next time. Trade safe and stay primed.